So I'm trying to film Tool Time Tuesday right now, and I've got every distraction possible just in, in sync. Like, uh, filming that should have taken about half an hour, and I'm well into it for like over two hours now. Crop dusters, bale trucks going by, neighbors moving machinery. And sometimes I wonder if I should have moved like way out into the boondocks, like way far away from anybody, and then I could just film at will and there'd be no interruptions. But it's also nice to have neighbors, so I guess that's just part of it. Oh, there's another distraction right there. So I guess I'm just gonna wait until these distractions go by and I can get back to filming. Okay, so we've got Tool Time Tuesday uploading. Super nice to have that done. So, a lot of you guys have been asking, when are we gonna grind the tip on the Tanto? We're gonna do that right now. What we've done is we've got our, pre, our main bevel done here, and we did this with a 10-inch contact wheel, so it's a hollow grind. Now, I'm gonna put the flat platen on the grinder, and we're gonna grind this tip. So this tip will be a flat grind. It gives it a little bit more strength, and if it's done correctly, we should have a nice even arch right here and right here where we transition from hollow to flat. It's a really nice look on the blade, but it's a fairly scary grind to get. One thing that you gotta keep in mind, it's quite important when you're grinding this, is that you wanna keep the blade uh, that you're coming at the grinder roughly at the same angle on both sides. So if I come at this side and if I ground the tip like this, and then went the other side and went straight, it's not gonna be the same line. And when you look down this way, you'll see it kinda, you'll see the two lines aren't even. So that's probably the trickiest part is just to try and reference this roughly even on the grinder. So I'm just gonna kinda hold it upright like this and come at the grinder. Hopefully it ends up even on both sides, but we'll go ahead and we'll give this a shot. I'm excited. <laughs> So you see we kind of brought our grind into here just a little bit. It's not too bad on both sides. The one reason I'm not too concerned about that right now is because I still have to thin this edge out a lot. So we still have some more on this hollow grind to do and we can kind of bring that back. When I, after heat treat, when I go to clean everything up, I'm gonna have to be super, super careful. But this is, this is plenty good enough for pre-heat treat. So we're gonna leave her there. Um, Tantos are pretty difficult. The grinding like that is not easy to do. Um, it's just so quick and you got a big old mistake. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and we'll drill some holes in here for our pins, also a couple to lighten it up, and then uh, hopefully we'll get this thing heat treated today. holes drilled in there now for our pins. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and just drill a whole bunch of real small holes. Uh, for one, weight reduction, just kinda nice, help balance out the knife. We're still quite handle heavy here. Whoa, not like that. But uh, you know, roughly it's still, still kinda handle heavy and we don't even have our scales on yet. Another advantage to putting all these holes in the handle is that it gives the passageways for the epoxy to go through so that both sides of the blade can be connected and the epoxy kinda joins in between there. Just helps the bond, I think. So let's go ahead and drill those out. So we've got all our little holes drilled out. Now what I want to do is I want to get even more weight reduction and I don't want to just be drilling thousands of little holes and squeezing them in all over the place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grind a little channel in here, basically kind of like a fuller and uh, just a little, little dish from about here to here. I'm going to do that on the really small contact wheel and that will take out a lot of extra weight from the handle.
Alright, so while we're waiting for the uh, the kiln to heat up, I've been working on this little thing. I call it the sliver. It's just a really thin, pokey, I don't know if it's like a quacken or some type of a knife design. I'm not entirely sure. But this thing's been heat treated. It's quite thin, so I actually heat treated it before I ground it, and then I ground my bevels in very, very carefully. I didn't overheat them. And what I'm gonna do with this is actually give it a paracord handle wrap. Uh, I've never done paracord handle wraps before, so I don't know, we're just gonna try something, I guess. Crank her down real good. Urgh. Yeah. Okay, so I've got over, a little bit over six feet of paracord. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna gut it. There we go. So now this cord has none of these inner strands in it. Still gonna melt the ends so they don't get all crazy on us. This camera's about to die, I need to change the battery. All right, got a fresh spanky new battery in the camera here and uh, and let's just, I don't know, I guess we kinda just fiddle with it and see what happens. So the battery I just put in just wasn't fully charged, it died. Now, I don't like doing this in sound, so I'm gonna crank my music, I'm gonna turn this on to fast forward so hopefully you can kinda see what I'm doing here. We'll see if it turns out. Fast forward. turn out doing this little knife was just about the right time to well there it is the kiln's ready we can go ahead and throw this knife and get it heat treated all right so that that is a nice sight actually it's been so dry here lately uh if these clouds would let loose and really give us some rain that'd be superb last night we had like a quarter of an inch of rain not enough to do anything but if we could get a little more that'd be so sweet but right now in the shop it's only like 21 degrees celsius and that is so nice for working while that sucker's heating up we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna actually sharpen this up and i might i've never done an instagram auction before and i kind of feel like there might be one coming on i think it'd be kind of fun but before we auction it off we need to sharpen it up. That's a nice edge. I I like that. That's how it's supposed to cut. that edge oh no I think this little guy turned out pretty good that's a cute little knife all right so we got this blade heat treated it's totally ready to go tomorrow we'll clean it up and then put some scales on it might even get the sucker finished up tomorrow I hope so that'll be tomorrow and then we also got this thing cord wrapped today which is pretty cool let me know what you think about this knife I I think this is a pretty cute little little boot knife is kind of what I'm thinking I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do kydex or a leather sheath with it but a really nice little size there. I man, it's it's almost like a fillet knife, but it doesn't have flex. It's still a little bit too thick to have any flex in it, but just a really nice, slim, uh, very sharp, very pointy knife. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>